A transition. Ah, how's it look? Looks fantastic. And you're just using the onboard telephotos with those, right? The lenses. Uh, Whatever the lens it came with. Yeah. 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 Dude, yeah, that, that looks amazing. That first, I know, of all, right? It looks better than Joe Rogan's cameras, <laughs> and that guy has a million dollars. He has a million dollars. He has. We don't look like we're in a meat locker. I think that's. Show. I think that's all Joe Rogan. He has a million dollars. His lighting. His lighting sucks too, though. Like yeah, everything's really dark on his. Well, show. that that red studio he built. I was like, why do you? Why? <laughs> that was like, yeah. I was like, what is was, wrong it with looked you? Like, it looked like a magic school bus thing of like we're inside the asshole of a dead comic right now, <laughs> like a robot's asshole. Yeah, it's terrible. Like, huh. so he really, what, that's what this looks like. He really tried to convince his audience that they'd get used to it. I'm like, no, 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 no. dude, you just spent a lot of money on like the ugliest. You're pink. <sighs> yeah. If you're a b big, bald dude, you don't want a pink studio. <laughs> if you already look like a toe. Yeah. Yeah. Like an <laughs> infant's toe. <laughs> Guys, we found the clitoris. He looked like a... Well, everyone on that show looked like a tumor. with Alex Jones in Texas. <laughs> 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 okay, are we all set up? Hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Uh, I guess maybe just check the chat, make sure audio and everything is good. And everybody, yeah, is everything good? sound good, guys? Like a toe. Yeah, yeah, like a, yeah there we go. All everybody right. happy, everybody excited. Scott. <laughs> Scott. It sounds good. Yeah, you definitely play that one. Do you know what that is, Josh? The chime? That I just played? Scott. Oh, stop. No, what is Oh, it? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. You're going to find out, I'm sure. I'm looking forward to it. Vito it over explains what it is. I'm not, I don't want to explain it I didn't at over all. <laughs> Sometimes I over explain. The morning show after the, uh, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to jump into this yet, but uh, the morning show after the live show that I missed, I did I did tune into that because I did have a little FOMO. I was like, oh, it sounds like it was Oh, the Ricada show, yes. Yeah. But, uh, but Vito had some really good fucking lines in that. <laughs> when Ricada was in? Yeah, what was that one good one? Uh, that uh, it was something about the Jews that was really. Well, we were talking about uh, that the Holocaust. Uh, you're, you're hot. Uh, Test. You can pull away. Yeah. Yeah, like here. Uh, no, a little bit closer than that. I might turn. Test you down one, one, two. The difference. I think I'm yeah. always hot lately. Like, yeah, you are always hot yeah. lately. Uh, no, we were talking about how the Holocaust was perpetrated. It was against fat people, and I said, "Well, that's why they had so many ovens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's baking all the that's pastries and sweets <laughs> for the Jews. Day. Yeah, because the fat people were saying it's basically a Holocaust you're perpetrating against us, the fat people. Josh, can you look at one, two, three, four? Can you look at the five, the knob marked five down On there, that red thing, yeah. and to turn go up? it, turn it down a little tiny bit, like a touch. I just did it a touch. Every okay. professional so podcast you want, you want has the guest run the audio. Say something like louder. A, like hey, what the? Yeah, a little bit. I'll more probably. Well, well no, I'm. I'm not going to talk that loud. Hey, but wait, loud, wait. be as loud as you can be. Wow, I can't believe okay, it. And uh, okay, okay, I've been reading all these stats about the different people. Okay. okay now say something again. Now wow, <laughs> cool. We're good. Awesome. Fantastic. You know, the thing, Dick, is that I do have a penis and is it that, is large. Is that how you? Okay, now you can get on the mic as much as you want. Okay. I'll be like right about yeah. 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 Are you loud enough? I think I. I don't know. I, I, he's, I feel, he's perfectly loud in my ears. I feel happy about it. I'm just I'm half deaf, and I'm the rare person that actually likes to hear themselves right. in a mix. Yeah. Usually people are like, "Well, I'm a little bit too loud. Turn me down." But I'm yeah, more of me, please. Yeah. Well, audience, please well, tell us if for some reason someone sounds low well, in the mix. And one we of my adjust it. one of my ears was blown out forever from like playing. I played in bands before I did comedy and like metal bands. Oh, wow. Like down tuned new metal stuff. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and so uh, I played on the right side of the stage. So this year, no good. Done. This year, perfect. So you sleep with your girlfriend or your wife on the on that side of you? Yeah. The deaf side. Yes, I do <laughs> put her on the deaf side. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? I think, Are we ready, I ready think to do we're a ready show? to go. You know how remember how you said that I should mark the one that I fixed? Yeah. And then I told you to go fuck yourself. Did you not? And I didn't did mark it, and I didn't delete the bad one. So now there's a <laughs> so you don't there's know which a was 50, the good one. 50 chance. Oh no. Are you feeling lucky? I feel. Josh, I'm gonna let you. I feel pick. lucky. You top? Are you a top or a bottom? That's what I'm gonna go with. I'm what? I'm a station. I'm a bottom. You're a bottom. Okay, yeah. let's see. Oh, that was the correct one. Was it? All right. <laughs> Ooh. Show that ranks every problem in the universe. 
from phony autism to Disney's logism. <laughs> I'm your host, Dick Matheson. Joining me, as always, is Vito Giswaldi. Wow, Dick, I'm so excited to be here. And special guest this week, the man who did not attend Road Rage LA, uh, as he's known. Yeah. Josh, <laughs> the, the Food down. Network, the man of principle, <laughs> the, the man F- who gets the Food canceled. Network's own Josh Denny is <laughs> yeah. here, everyone. Yes, please continue to let them know. <laughs> they stand by their man. Yes, Food Network stands by Josh Denny. They do. No matter what he says, Food Network execs say, "Suck my cock." You'll never get us to fire Josh Denny. Yes, never. We yeah. don't care how much you tweet it as. I'm their Dave Chappelle. <laughs> They've sent out a letter to all of their co- their workers, and they go, "Listen." If you don't like what this guy says about the blacks and the unborn babies, oh, no. no. <laughs> See, if I was you, I would maybe just. Maybe Food Network is rest, not the place yeah. for you. The rest of my career would be devoted to going on comedy stages wearing a Food Network hat and shirt and saying the most ridiculous, horrific things I possibly could. <laughs> just go, I don't know if black people have souls. By the way, watch my show on Food Network. Yeah. Plenty of good reruns out there. I've listened to a lot of racist yeah. commentary and comedy mm-hmm. i've never heard that one you've never heard black people don't have <laughs> don't souls, have souls. No, i'm sure that's, someone no, else is saying it that's supposed to be the redheaded yeah. people yeah. you're culturally appropriating most black people only have soul they got that's true they it's have the more punk- soul than the average so maybe individual. maybe sprinkle in some punctuality and some professionalism <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no, no, those are white supremacy uh, traits. They as I are, see they on are. The, That's you always see they uh, give what do you call it <laughs> traits of white something or other. Oh yeah, where they try to give you a lecture about like you know white people think being on time white is important. White people think like this. <laughs> <laughs> and black, and black people think like this. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know that <laughs> diversity is a strange beast. At that Chappelle show, as it uh, as it went along, as the fog of uh, fun started to grow in the crowd. It turned into like a, a satirical rave and then an actual rave. I swear to God, I thought it was going to start. I thought it was going to turn into like a church. Yeah. Like a, with a gospel choir singing and a reverend. At the, I was ready at, for at it. At the bowl, did you go? Yeah. 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 But I, I mean, it wasn't the same night he got attacked, though, right? No. Did he like two nights. No, it wasn't. I wish it was the same night. I know. I'd have run up there in a horse. You would have helped out, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Just run up there with your sign. We like Dave. You know what? I tried to bring. I. This is so pathetic. Uh, no. I brought my sign Did to you? bring it in, thinking that I would just give like a, you know, yeah, Dave, or just like, you know, get a little thing going. But right right at the gate, it says, no signs. And I was like, well, that's uh, that's obvious. Yeah. Right? Well, why you, did you? What yeah, you should have done is assume? hit it in a replica gun, so, and then you would have gotten it in no problem. So I, I rolled the sign up. And I put it in the sleeve of my jacket, because that's how I smuggle beers into, like, theaters. You tie the end of your jacket sleeve and just yeah. fill it with beers, right? So I rolled the right. s- sign up and put it in the sleeve. And I'm trying to, like, nonchalantly carry this. <laughs> and my girlfriend goes, you know, that kind of looks like a gun. <laughs> and I said, I'm abort. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going back to the car. This. this was dumb. Yeah. This was dumb. How I'm far going did back. you have to walk back to the car? Was it a whole thing? Uh, well, that's the part that's that you're sucks. like, oh, this walking. What is? Well, tell me more about this walking the parking for the Hollywood yeah, I, I gotta Bowl. Be, must be a I, whole thing. I gotta be honest with you. I think the concern that you and I have for the walks <laughs> to cars might be might be the biggest problem in the I universe. Mean, it's a it's an inconvenience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You, uh, have you? I gotta ask you this because I've done it. Yeah. I'll admit it. Have you ever, based on the walk back to your car, been like, I'm not going back to the event thing and you just go home? I've, I'm sure that has happened in some respect. I can't remember when. Where you're just like, I'm not going back. Or just like, oh, God, I parked way too to you? Uh, pr- Too many times to remember, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Where I'm just like, I don't like those people enough to walk all yeah. the way back there. You're I'm just back bouncing. back the car. I'm already back at the car. Are you a big uh, Uber scooter guy? Do you take those lines? No, scoot- I don't like take back scooters. To your- no. Oh, because it's too funny. Yeah. It's too oh funny. no, I do. Yeah. I do do the. You scooter. see me on a scooter? I, you should pull me over and rape me to death if you see me on one of those things. No, I am the fat guy who parks too far away, and then you see me on the lime scooter go. Doo, 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 doo. You do that? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I don't pop I can't along. Do, I can't do the scooters. Somehow I've never eaten shit on one of those things. Oh, I've you guys are gonna you're gonna love this. I just today got a handicapped parking placard. For wow. my arm. Nice. Legit. Park wherever you want. Say whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Does that have some sort of limit on it? 
Uh, for behavior, no. No, but I'm saying like, <laughs> do you got to check in every six months <laughs> for behavior? Like, do I have to act like I'm handicapped? Yeah, I get you got to go out of the car and go, die. Like Willy blocked. Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. My dad, my dad thinks that the handicap placard extends beyond the parking lot. Yeah, it goes <laughs> My dad will pull into a... <laughs> well, the funniest thing is when I, when I had to get these glasses, like new glasses, it was a year ago, and mm. I was out with him, and he goes... I'll take you to the to the glasses place. Don't worry. Like he's getting me into like VIP treatment. Nice. He pulls it. He parks in the handicap. He walks in. They go, sir, do you have an appointment? He goes, nah. <laughs> and they go, <laughs> and they go, you need an appointment. And he's like, I'm seeing your citizen. You can't just see me now. <laughs> and they go, no, we're booked out. It's a pandemic. We're booked out three months in advance. What do you Thanks, think, Dad? Yeah, and he's just like. I think sometimes that probably does work. It just depends where you're going. I'm assuming you sit probably at the yeah. local uh, breakfast nook. He goes, "That's my fucking table." There. Yeah, it's, when you're old, when you're old, it's, you expect everything. Yeah, you just they 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 start to get a little cocky. They're just like, "Yeah, I'm old. Yeah. I'm old. Cocky. What are you gonna yeah. do? Check this out." Yeah. No. Well, like when I'm old, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna steal all the time, right? Yeah. Because like, what are they gonna do? Put you in jail for being an old guy who's like stealing candy and shit? They'll put you in the fucking cloud, man. That's what they're gonna Which do. Which cloud? The old. Uh, you won't even. Cloud? You won't even under. They'll yeah. put you on the blockchain. I oh no! I like <laughs> that you think that. I like that you think that the world is creating an environment where people like you and I ever become elderly. No, no, no. We're gonna get there. It's all gonna, gonna work out. <laughs> don't you know that monkeypox is gonna good. get us before we no, turn forty? No, no, 40? no, no. We're gonna be fine. I have no corpulence or whatever the hell that term is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's called uh, uh, health. Yeah, it's on the cover of of some Sports Illustrated. Yeah, exactly. You see that? I saw that big fat lady. Okay. Jordan Peterson doesn't you, like you're it. You're gonna turn around on vaccination real quick, Vito. When they're like, "You got to suck this monkey's dick to stay alive." <laughs> I'll suck the monkey dick. I just want to get out of here. You would. I just, <laughs> just want to have fun. All right, hit it. What do we got? Who's a winner? Fake neurodivergence. Boom! Winner. This guy always. What do you think about fake fake kids saying that they're neurodivergent? They're the kids are a, fake. Yeah, no, the uh, artificial children. <laughs> artificial children. Yeah, what do you think about artificial children? <laughs> I think we should have them. I think I think if the pedos need something, we should you know let's it would appease stop them. A lot of Is it okay to delete the artificial children? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. They're yeah. begging. They're saying no. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, when does Supreme a, Court twenty fifty two? When does a when does a cyborg become mm -hmm. you know a sentient? Really, I yeah. mean, because to me, it's just a clump of circuits. So, and I'm at home going, it doesn't work. The yeah. fucking, it doesn't work ever. Yeah, what are they arguing about? Clenching what? too tight on my, is that what we're talking about? Prostate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the robotic, eth robotic ethics have come up on this show before for some reason. No, no, I, no, I hate it. I, no, I do a bit in my act now where I talk about the fact that that's when I knew that white privilege was over. It was when black people started faking mental illness. <laughs> Like, oh, my anxiety. I'd be like, talk to your grandfather. I bet, I bet he's got some stories about anxiety. He had some severe yeah. uh, depression. Well, my granddaughter Can says she's it? had anxiety. I guess they keep shooting fire hoses at her on her way to work every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Well, I brought up recently in an argument, because I don't know if this is getting too in the weeds, but you know how uh, the trans community, they're like, well, the only reason the suicide rates are so high is because, you know, society is so mean to us. And I'm like... So shouldn't black people be killing themselves like crazy? Based on that logic yeah. of people being mean to you? I'm like, oh, or, yeah. fat, or fat if, people. If it's all society. Or women. Yeah. Shouldn't they have the highest rates of depression <laughs> and whatever else? <laughs> Dick's like, I think it needs, means we need to be meaner to them. Yeah, I think they're I think just a very resilient people. Uh, anyway, I, I won, and that's what's important. You won. Uh, and then number two, intellectual property laws. Yeah. People well, did, even though I argued against them. I don't think, still came I don't think IP you. laws should exist at all. I think they just protect big companies like Disney. They just acquire IP, and then you just have to watch their shit. Yeah, constantly. I, I, I never understood the uh, the concept of like patenting an idea. Yeah, it's sort of like I could go make this, but I don't have I don't the I don't have the technical <laughs> capability, the financial amount of money to put into it. Uh, or even the desire to work at it, but well, I thought of it one time. You have to have something. Yeah. So my kids should. <laughs> no one else can use this yes. idea that I had. Yeah, I thought of a thing one time, and I believe I deserve generational wealth for you the... You gotta put a little bit of work into a patent. You gotta have, like, what, like a proof of concept or something? I invented the telephone. Yeah. What about all the electricity and shit? Other guys did that, but this... <laughs> Is part of you its can't mind. just say my idea is a pill that cures cancer. Yeah, and then but patent, patent it. But like, you have to have an actual 
pill that cures cancer or something along that line. But patents are different than like IP. Like IP genuinely is like a car that flies. Uh. And they're just like, how does it work? And they go, you guys will figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but when you do, I get 12%, 12%. in perpetuity. Then uh, 3D technology. Do you like 3D movies? No. That should have been it. way higher. This is bullshit. All those 3D movies are shit. I'm t it's the name that you picked. What should 3D I call technology. it? 3D movies? Yeah, 3D movies are bad. But it also it includes That's those shitty theme park rides and shit. Mm, That's true. Yeah. No. Would you like to wear a pair of glasses through this film that makes it feel like you're only seeing it through your peripheral vision? <laughs> yeah, and it hurts. Yeah. And uh, although people were telling me that, it, like, people, they're like, it's because you're fat. And I'm like, I don't think that's oh. the reason it sucks. You don't know that, though. I think it sucks though. for skinny people, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You guys are just having these awesome 3D movie experiences. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Let's yeah. Be even understand. I've, oh, I've never had a skinny person 3D movie experience. I'll never know what that's like. So <laughs> yeah. if you skinny people are loving 3D movies, let me know. Yeah, yeah we put them on. And we just see a kaleidoscope. <laughs> <laughs> like Cthulhu. And in Dead Last. And Bluetooth in Dead Last. Yeah. Oh, fuck that. Okay. Hans von Straddle says, uh, I'd like to see Vito defend pharmaceutical companies Owning the IP for drugs, it's one of the big reasons drug prices are so bad in America. He, well, go ahead. They put in the money to develop the drug. They wouldn't have they wouldn't have spent time researching and developing it if there was no reward at the end of the other side of the tunnel. But how do you know that? So why would they develop a drug if the second they develop the drug, everybody gets it f to make it f for the same exact because price? Because they could keep it a secret then and they get a jump on everybody. Now, how much of a jump can you have once the drug's out there and you, you got to be like, here's exactly how to make it. You're on the. Ex it's like, why wouldn't you just sit around and wait for another company to develop the drug, and then the second it comes out, be the copycat drug company. People are working like new on new kinds of hot dogs. They're like, oh, here's like a hot dog with marshmallows on it. That, yeah, not because there's not a, that, and people still do it. Because there's not a huge. I mean, if that becomes popular, then everyone will make hot dogs with marshmallows. Okay, mm -hmm. so you don't need to. You know. Everybody will make those. <laughs> if it's, I'm saying that's a niche fucking thing, but a cancer curing drug, like everybody. Uh, is going to need it. They're going to buy it from the one place. Yeah, okay, so here's the reality. Regardless, you're here's, paying for the price of development. Here's the reality. You develop a diabetes drug, every yeah. other big pharmaceutical company will develop a shittier version, and then they will all just market to morons. It will blanket ads on every... C uh, cable station, they send an army of hot 26-year-olds to every doctor's office to push their pill. Yeah. That's the system we have. They all still have... The same product. Right. They had to dump extra R&D on it. they have to pay in it. order to uh, license the drug from whoever No, no, no they made their first. own. No, they made their own. They made their There's own. There's so many okay. molecules. It, yeah. They make their own molecule, and then they go shill that, even if it's not as good. Yeah. They just push it with marketing dollars. Look, I'm not saying the intersection of capitalism and medicine is okay. a perfect thing, but I think that's a bad argument against patents. Are you are you for, IP. like, socialized medicine, Dick? No. You don't. You don't. You know. think poor people like should die? Like universal health care. I hate, po I hate like. poor people. Yeah, <laughs> get rid of them. If you can't afford to live, get the fuck out of here. Uh, that's the that's the least offensive thing of my money being spent on. Yeah, it's like a a list of illnesses that we can cover, and then like, well, we're out of money. Yeah. So let's rank the illnesses, and then we'll start paying for them, and then oh, we hit like LASIK. We can't afford that for everybody, so yeah. you're on yeah. your own. Yeah, I think there should be. I, I think, like, it should extend to, like, you know, something that's sort of, like, out of your control. Like, if you are if you get, like... Cancer. Leukemia. Yeah. Right? Which you know, is a but, form of cancer. Or an erection. Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to get that taken. <laughs> you, take, you should handle that yourself. I mean, I'm the kind of person that, like, I'd have to get shot to go to the hospital. And even then, I would probably spend 20 minutes Googling, like... Home bullet wound remedies. Like, <laughs> yeah. Just because I'm like, tampon. I, I just don't want to deal with tampon. That's yeah. true. Oh, okay. I think they do do that. Um, <clears throat> Bob Genus says, I remember joining a Discord server my friend showed me in their roles section. It said, pick your mental illness. If I wanted to be part of a padded room squad, I'd go to an asylum. That's what the kids are doing yeah. these days. Well, everyone has to lead with identity now. So if, you know. Yeah. That's that's mental illness is literally like white kids equalizer. They go, what do you know about struggle? And they go, do you know what's going on up here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate everything. No, we saw yeah, this I'm all depressed coming and years I'm anxious ago. and it's pretty much like being gay and black. And there, everyone else is like, is <laughs> what it? The fuck? That's yeah. why we got this Maybe word queer is. now. <laughs> yeah. Well, for, well, I don't know. I guess the sexual identity isn't exciting enough anymore. You got to pair it up now with the yeah. mental illness. Yeah, that's one. You of gotta my be a gay autist or a home, you know, a bisexual. 
Well, now it's like... What else do they got? Now it's like... Schizophrenic. If you were gay, that was like a thing before. And now you got to be gay plus... If you like, yeah. in terms of like yeah. Hollywood marketability or whatever, it's They're like, like no, no. Pokemon type lines. Like when you look and the, your stat screen for Pokemon, it's like, oh, it's a flying fire type. You're a neurotic you know, homosexual Jew, and now you got all your types, and then yeah. you can go fight all the other ones. Yeah, like if you're a gay, but someone you're needs also to make a, that game, by the way. If you're a gay, but you're also a white dude, that cancels each other out. Yeah, it's yeah, not no, gay enough. Nothing yeah. cancels out white dude at this point. Nothing. You mean in a he's, good way? Yeah, he's saying it cancels out the gayness. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're a white dude, that I'm saying to the diversity away, people. Yes. It, oh, you know. you're cursed. Yeah, yeah once you're, you're a, a white guy, guy, you could be like nah. super duper gay. It doesn't even count anymore. No, you can be trans. That's the move. Yeah, but then you're not a white guy anymore. You're a white. And you're a white lady. Whatever. You're a white Thank lady. You. Like me, who smartly jumped the gun and got a California ID that yeah, identifies me as a female. Sounds good. Okay. That's fantastic. <clears throat> Did you really do that? Yes. Go to the DMV and check a box. It takes like Hold on. half a <laughs> half a minute. <laughs> if, God damn it. if we all do it, something they might happen. Can't they stop can't us. stop us. The veto just Waldy stock in my world this week. <laughs> we went to we went to a memorial together on Monday, and then now I find that out. He's just skyrocketing. I'm my... just saying, if all of you do it with me, wait a minute, it will inherently highlight the flaw in the system. But regardless. Did you plan you coming to the show at a memorial service? No, no, no. We were oh, talking wait. about it a little ahead of time. Before the memorial. You were networking at the memorial service? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we, 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 no, 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 no. We actually were probably the only people not networking at the memorial <laughs> service. Oh, no, I had a guy try to yeah, I had a guy try to get me on a show at the, uh, he's like, oh, well, maybe I can book you on my show. I'm yeah, like, here's, right. here's what happened. Here's what <laughs> I, here, if you want to hear how awful the L.A. comedy scene is, we, yes, we went please. to a memorial for a friend of ours who was a gamer and a, and a comic. Is this going to be your problem or no? Uh, it can be. Should we save it? Yeah, if it's going to be your Vito's problem, going save it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. We can okay. Save Arkin right. Nightman says Vito is the heart of the show, so take it away. I am Vito, the heart of the you're show. You're the big winner. Well, I wanted to mention one thing before we get started. Maybe I should save it for the end, I don't know. But, Dick, are you aware of what today's date is? F 520? 520. Is it acid day? Like no, weed? Oh. But it has <laughs> been, Dick... One year oh. since the biggest problem in the universe nice. really? showed up. Our first show was uh, recorded on the 22nd of May oh, wow. and posted on the 25th. So we're off by like two days. Congratulations on one hey, great year of go. podcasting. Oh, huh? Wow, that's incredible. Isn't that incredible? Now, we haven't done, uh, you know, we, we congratulations to the audience. Congratulations. Really? Yeah, it's really this is for the audience. You know, so it's big. I feel, I feel. I love crashing people's anniversaries. <laughs> well, hopefully It'd be weird we'll if you have here. more to come. Yeah. I feel like we could reach a certain. I don't know how many episodes we go for. You know, eighty, a hundred, maybe a hundred and seven, somewhere around there. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Very funny. How long we go? I'm picking up on this, but it's <laughs> an exciting where, year. I get where have this you planned is going. your betrayal of me yet, or have I planned my betrayal of you? I've been planting little seeds. You know. Okay. Have you been taking notes of all the things I'm saying that it can be taken out yeah, of context? I mean, you might find some cameras around the house. Just ignore them and go about your business. <laughs> that's going to be part of the big expose. <laughs> Why is there? Plants show. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe we've been going for a year already. Yeah. Wow. We did. Uh, right. We did what? Three test shows. You know, yeah. which we counted as episodes, and yeah. started off what biweekly. Uh -huh. Quickly, the fans demanded a weekly show, and as soon as we will have a daily show. That is incorrect. My fans have actually happened. demanded that I stop doing my show. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> some podcasts. Some podcasts. I'm like, what? Can you guys just stop? This is terrible. But I because think fans demand okay. that he get off Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Like, which I just stop. Mine, mine stop. too. <laughs> it's, it's all I got going. Listen, I'm like that guy who invested in something that looked like it was going south, and then Daddy Elon is about to make me look like a genius. <laughs> Should I've, I follow Jordan Peterson off of Twitter? I've hung in on Twitter through all of it, <laughs> and uh, just and, dig in, and, dig, I, dig, and, and dig it, down. you know, if he if he flips it for us, then I then I look, oh, baby. I look like a genius. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a dark day. Yeah. Oh, for those journalists and women. If he, oh, if he unbans my old account, it's going to be a weird time. <laughs> and man. I just want to say, if you guys think I've been bad on Twitter so far, you just <laughs> fucking you have no wait. Idea. I have a box in my closet that I locked all my slurs in. <laughs> yes. The second that deal passes, it's going to be like the Ark of the Covenant. 
We'll see. He says he's back and out. Dun, 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 dun. You know what's know. weird though is like I've invented my own slurs that are not that bad, mm -hmm. but, but nobody even knows what I mean, and I'll just be out talking with people and so. <laughs> I think if you've invented your own slurs, that might be bad. Yeah, that might be even worse than just using the normal ones. Yeah, you know, I just hate this group so much that no word that I have access to. Well, it's really like a shorthand I have well. with my girlfriend where it's like oh, we'll yeah. refer to people and it'll be like you know so and so Maria, and she goes oh yeah the thick back broad. <laughs> it's thick like back. It's thick she's back. a real. Chugger, as yeah. we say. Yeah, so it's like you know, and you know what's funny, Dick, is I said thick back, and you know <laughs> exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about, right? It's yeah. a it's a lady. She's on the corner at a table slicing al pastor. Yeah, and she's you know uh, she's, she's a little back. back. All of the weight, all of the weight is somehow on her back, I'm like a back to the back. <laughs> And it's, I assume it's that from That lady in the sawing. swimsuit, she's got that. The one that scared G bread. Jordan Peterson off Twitter. Okay. Oh, <laughs> God. I don't make me think about that woman. I thought she looked good. Why don't you give me a drum roll, Dick? Dick, I got five <laughs> words. I got six words that everyone hates to hear. Unexpected item in the bagging area. Oh, yeah. My problem is shitty self-checkouts. Shitty self-checkouts. I okay. want, all right, now let's be clear. I support the roboticization of the future. Great. I love the idea that I can go to a store, buy horrific items that I would normally be ashamed to purchase in mass, and just, just buy them and no one can judge me, or only God can judge me, as they say. Okay. But why why is the self-checkout experience just still suck? The other like the other day I'm at uh, Sprouts, the mm -hmm. grocery store, getting some stuff. Getting yeah. some, uh, you know, food. <laughs> got a salad. What do you got a? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know a they, salad. I got a salad. <laughs> I didn't know they put it in the bins where you just pull the chute. And, <laughs> no, no, no. It was like a prepared salad. I got a couple of things. Yeah. Regard. Okay. Did so you I, see the salad, or is it just dressing? No, it's it's, it's the dressing is in a separate package. Okay. So any time a fat guy says he goes to the grocery store, I expect someone's gonna roast me. I got some good. Well, you bring that good salad, things. like you know. Hey, I got a salad. Is a good sprout. I got a sprouts good. Sprouts too. is pretty okay. good. I'm not yeah. going to be able to afford it soon. But I get a melon. I get a small melon. You know, they have like watermelons, but they're not like a full melon. It's like a Japanese looking thing. It's like a bowling ball. Yeah. Hmm. It's supposed to be $4. Okay. You go to the self checkout. They're like, what are you getting? Because it's produce. I go, I'm getting a watermelon. They go, oh, well, that'll be $8. And I'm like, oh, I put in the wrong watermelon because there's like three or four different types on there. Yeah. I'm like, that's fine. I'll just cancel it out. No, 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 no. You can't do that. The machine is like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Start the fucking alarms are going off. It's like, yeah. you're going to need an attendant to count, cancel that out. Yeah. I'm like, you can't trust me to like say, oh, I put the wrong thing in, just cancel it myself. So I'm like, all right, fine. Look around yeah. for the attendant. She's fucking off doing something. She's like stocking yeah. bread or some shit. She's the reason they have the robots. Right. Well, that's the thing. Isn't the, uh, We have the robot to supposedly make this easier. All this bitch has to do is sit there and wait for the robot to fuck up and help me. And even that, I can't trust that part of the system. Yeah. So I, I end up theory. stealing $40 worth of groceries there you go. rather than wait for the lady. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's you're either smart enough to work it or you're smart enough to steal to it. Steal. There's no in between. My favorite thing ever is to just stand there and go, get. <laughs> 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 because because what they're banking on, here's my theory. Yeah. They're banking on you won't say anything. You'll just be passive aggressive white guy who's too afraid to look stupid and you'll pay eight dollars for the four dollar mm -hmm. one. There are people who do that, yeah. Right? So you gotta counter that presumption of stupidity with Horrible theft. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know how they're not losing crazy amounts of money on these things because some studies have said up to 25% uh, of shoppers admit to having stolen from the self checkout. And a lot of the time, it is because they go, well, if the machine screwed up, that's the machine's fault. I'm not really. St it like justifies theft. I think it's rewiring us to become. Like thieves. We should steal from yes. these companies. <laughs> like, I see I, all that shoplifting stuff that's going on. 
every time it happens to a little mom and pop business, I'm like, that's horrible. They should be shot, right? Yeah. So if mom and pop, if somebody breaks in your store and your mom and pop store, payday, blah, 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 right? Yeah. But if it's totally. a CVS or a Target, yeah, just, fuck just, them. Just what rob you, them. Yes. But that's what the, you, but then, what do you mean? <laughs> fuck them. And the only yeah. benefit of the self checkout is that it has made shoplifting easier. That's the, the no, rest of it, it is has that made terrible. life ease, no. so easy. I always get stuck behind some Chinese grandma who like can't figure it out. Or she you who the can't same figure it out. No, I can figure it out. I put in melon and I should just be able to cancel it myself. Or if I put. I swear to God, if, if I'm ever behind you in the store and the Chinese woman come over and go, you got to press two, then four. <laughs> no, 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 I'm no, going to no, smash no, no, no. your watermelon. No, 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 no. I, I get through it like a champ. Why are you going through it with every produce? Time. It doesn't work for produce. It's yeah, first it does. They UPC have, it's an option. Well, this at, at the grocery store, the produce is an option. Yeah, and, and, it, I and use it weighs the option. it. It weighs it. it weighs and you got to select the item. Yeah, it weighs it. That's the other thing that sucks. That's why it has that unexpected item in bagging here because there's why this don't constant they just go by weight of weight all system fruit? going. Like, is the weight of the apple that much? More yeah, well, than... no, because like a kumquat is rarer than an apple, so a bag of apples is like two bucks. <laughs> okay, and a kumquat is a bunch, but that's how you get the system. Is you got to look. You got to you got to say you're getting ma you know potatoes when you're really getting mangoes. Yeah, if you that's ever you fuck it. up on a self checkout, you should be permanent. Permanently banned, like face recognition. No, you're so you walk over there and they just shut down, like do, like will, like close up shop. Like no, <laughs> you gotta go. To you're done. You fucked up too much. Three strikes and you're out. But they should just have less bullshit. Like, why does it care what's in the bagging area? Just trust that I know how to scan the item. Because I don't like to. I, I've now gotten in the habit where I take the shopping bag. And I won't put it in the bagging area at all. I'll fill up the shopping bag one item at a time. Okay. Because otherwise, the fucking weight thing goes off every time. It's like, I don't know. I don't think that's what cream cheese weighs. <laughs> I need to call this lady over to make sure that that's actually cream cheese. So I just go yeah. skip bagging, skip bagging. But then they have it set up where if you skip bagging too many times, that sets off the fucking trigger. And they go, why is this motherfucker not bagging anything? And they bring a fucking lady over anyway. Just what? This system has too many checks and balances. Mm. They should accept, yes, that some people are going to shoplift. They should let you eyeball it. Like, how much yeah. do you think these groceries cost? Okay, 80 bucks. I, just, I, guess, I guess I just want them to admit... That, yes, we've done this as a cost-saving measure to get rid of employees. Yeah. So you're allowed to steal a couple things, and we're not going to be that big a dick about it. <laughs> but that's it. why, to Dick's point, you have to steal, because you have to make it an economically challenging decision for them to not pay people. Yeah. Right. No, right? it is not, true. Not only do you have to steal, but you have to vandalize stuff. Too permanent yeah. damage, and, yeah, and do crimes. You have to break the machines and <laughs> no, uh, like rape in the parking lot. No, and stuff. no, 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 no. Well, what's the <laughs> well, what's the melon for then? The melon is not for rape. Oh my god. Uh, look, I got a couple stats here. Just saying, when I fuck, I like a little bit of melon. The idea of the self checkout yeah, is not? making people fat, Dick. In a 2004 experiment, McDonald's found that customers using self service kiosks would uh, prefer to supersize their meals because they're not worrying about, again, that judgment <laughs> from the person behind the counter. So you go to McDonald's normally, you wouldn't just go, I would like 10 Big Macs because you're worried you're going to be judged. You know what? But if it's a computer... There's I, no shame anymore. As, We've as removed the human element of shame from shopping. As a man with a McDonald's tramp stamp and a nice set of tits, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to argue with you here. <laughs> what do you this. mean? <laughs> this has not reined you in? If anything, the McDonald's it's self not, it's not service the, has led to chaos. It's not the shame. It's I Because what it does is it shows you the pricing of both. And you go, well, for 20 cents more, I'm going to fucking... I might as well get an extra 12 <laughs> nuggets. I'm going to... Yeah, of course, I'm going to get six more Big Macs. No, it's because then you start digging cents. into it. It used to be... You would never... I, like, I do things with the McDonald's app that is, frankly, like, should be against the, the rules. Right here. Where right here. <laughs> you split... Did you know you can split the screen on your phone? Do you split it with, like, Pornhub and your McDonald's oh, apps? You know? oh. <laughs> I'm going into the burger option. I'm going, wait, I can add a second patty for only 20 cents where if i then double up we're removing the human element from purchasing which is which is bad hey, uh, hey, you, ever, you ever make a double quarter pounder like a big mac yeah it's <laughs> horrific it's not necessary it's what is that not, not, not what is necessary <laughs> i guess that's really my bigger what is it? wait what is a double quarter pounder like a big mac you literally put another piece of bread in between the quarter pounder buns <laughs> you and guys then are you, sick. you dress it <laughs> yeah. like a big and mac. then you tell them i want big mac sauce and shredded and, lettuce, and shredded on lettuce. It and they'll just do it yeah 
oh, I gotta have this. Yeah. It's, it's phenomenal well, because the because the patties of the Big Mac are disgusting, terrible, terrible. Yeah, dried out, gross. You want the yeah. juicy. Yeah, 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 dude. Back in the day when I worked at McDonald's in high school, they had a burger called the Big Extra. And it was like their version of the Whopper, and it was like seasoned, and it was bigger than the quarter pounder. It was like okay. oblong, like this. And one day I was you like, "Can't even shape them right." It's so big. I was. We tried. It's fifteen. <laughs> I was fifteen, and all the Mexican dudes in the kitchen were like, "Hey." <laughs> Fat bastard. That's what we they call make me. you. Something. I had, I had sideburns. Cause you're so funny. No, no. Oh, I, you look no, like. <laughs> no, no. I looked like I looked like Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. Oh. I had the sideburns and the double chin and like a spiked hair. Nice. <laughs> and they would call me hey, Fat Bastard. Did you have that look before that movie? No. Oh, you chose no, to look no, like no, the no. movie. I mean, yes, yes, yes. I did. Okay. So the movie, the movie came, came out, out and you're like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fat bastard. They go, listen, listen, man, listen. If you can eat, if you can eat three big extra patties, like a big Mac, super side fry, Super side milkshake. Right, right. We give you hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. I'm fifteen and I go hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I Let's literally the money. sit down on. They put the hundred out. <laughs> I sit down oh, in no. the break room and I eat essentially a triple. It's more than a quarter pound. Yeah. A triple burger, a large three chocolate milkshake, yeah. and uh. yeah, there were three quarter pound. Right. And and a, a and a large meat. fry, and I eat the entire thing, and I'm not. I'm telling you, instantly, instantly on the shitter <laughs> for an hour and a half at the on the clock. Yeah. By the way, yeah. And they're just like, "Are you?" I came. I out destroyed my insides. This. I came out, and my and my manager was like, "Hey, are you doing drugs in there?" <laughs> <laughs> And well, food like, is a sort of I drug. Go, so yes. No, I'm doing. I did. I did too much McDonald's, <laughs> and then I had to go in there. I did too much meat, sir. Yeah. So and now then, I want a burger. And then they, sounds good. And then and then for, for, forever on in in Austin, Minnesota, McDonald's lore, they were like, there was this one man who come here and he create the fat bastard burger. <laughs> he destroy our toilet. Did not work. Oh my god. For they, months. And those guys those guys loved me. and then yeah, that was I was fat bastard and then I quit that job and See, went to but a now we're store. enabling this by allowing people to customize their experience with a little touchpad with no human interaction whatsoever. Oh, you think some other fat shit on the other side of this transaction is going to limit them in some capacity I and feel not like Oh, you should get some fucking ranch to I, dip your no, triple no, no. fat bastard burger I into I feel like it. once that McDonald's worker <laughs> Why looks didn't I Look at this! <laughs> no. Like there a needs, travel agent. We need a system of checks and balances. The robot should check in when you're ordering on the screen. You go, S -s -s do you need to talk to somebody? We can set you up with a counselor. I think you don't you're remember to how fill a hole in your heart. How terrible McDonald's these, ones. To these till workers were with their long nails and their yeah. nonsense yeah. chattering. Yeah. Back and forth. Look, I'm not saying. Look, I appreciate the idea of the self checkout. Just clearly. Nobody's supervising these things. There's all these stupid little rules. Why can't I get beer at one? Why? You should be able to scan my fucking ID so I can get beer. That might be only a California Democrats, thing. I don't know. That's why it is Democrats. Democrats. You know what? That's no. It's Democrats and Republicans. It's all the, it's all nanny state fucking legislators on both sides. Yeah. Uh, God forbid you buy a beer to go with the anal condoms that you're buying for the children yeah. that are waiting for you in the and car. And the Plan B uh, pills you're getting to make yeah. sure you kill your baby good. Did you see this thing in uh, Canada where... Uh, I mean, that's not how it works, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is Plan C? Can't you get... Plan B just prevents you from getting pregnant. Yeah. It doesn't... It's not an abortive. But they have an abortive pill. Though. Yeah, but that's not Plan yeah. B. That's actually kind of the problem. That's the, a big problem the, is the... The confusion between men, the two. White men talking about <laughs> reproductive ah, whatever health, you, and they don't know what they're talking just about. Just take her on a roller plan, coaster a Plan C times. is the abbreviation for the Casey Anthony plan. That's <laughs> plan, plan C. C. That was not a good plan. Yeah. Although it worked out for her. I'm just Did saying. It? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Casey Anthony get off? I don't know. I would say it worked out for. Her. I Failed mean, it. like, Failed I'm not it. saying the plan was flawless. Yeah, I remember at the end of the trial when she was like, I think that'll just about deal with that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> she does the George Carlin. I hope you all enjoy. If your this list was kill kid, not end up in jail, then you successfully accomplished both goals. <laughs> I think you could do it a little better than that. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. Okay, Maybe not, don't not even every, get caught in the first place. It's not just saying off the top of my every head. Every plan is foolproof, but clearly she got where she was going. Sometimes you take the longer road, okay? The what real Casey Anthony was the friends that we made. No, a lot, yeah. Casey, yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> that was the real Casey Anthony. <sighs> Look, guys, all I'm saying is if I'm going to be interacting with a robot, I feel like it could be more streamlined. I could get rid of all this bullshit that holds me up. <laughs> It could be less, Christ. less, uh, there should be a rule. We need a retard Old people one. aren't allowed to use them anymore because they <laughs> hold up the whole fucking line for me. This is the, uh, all the, all the real losers you know, I'm use great, this self-checkout. I'm self great checkout. at the self-checkout. Okay, that's the thing. I'm yeah, great at it. you sound great. Messing no, 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 up, no, no, messing no. up melons. Well, that's their fault. Why, <laughs> why is one melon more than another melon? They should be pretty much the same. All right, I went watermelon. Uh, honestly, I was like, that should be the cheaper one. It's the regular type of watermelon. It ended up being more, and this whole thing. You yeah. ever wonder if old people are just fucking with us, though? Because, like, if I were old, I would go up there and I go, can I Facebook my grandson from this? Because I would see I would see you raging behind me, and I go, I got all day. I'm about to die. Yeah, I have nothing I'm gonna going to ruin this on. guy's whole life. You're going to ruin this guy's life. My day. grandmother had Alzheimer's, and I swear to this day, like, I think some of it was fake. I think some of it was just, she's like, I'm going to say the N-word at this diner. What are you going to do? <laughs> what could happen? Let's see, how, let's see how you guys tap dance around this one. What do you guys think about these Amazon stores where they, you don't even, you just walk in, take stuff, walk out? Oh, I can't wait to see yeah. who's who's stealing from them, I mean, honestly, them and how. I'm going to try robbing that place blind. <laughs> yeah, Amazon. Are you really? Have you yeah. stole... Uh, do you steal from self checkouts? Self checkouts constantly. Yeah. Just a little something for the effort. You I, know. My my rule for Target is one item is free. Obviously, oh, that's the unspoken yeah. rule. Which item? Do you, which item do you pick? Eh, it depends. Which one do you think is the most gratuitously overpriced? Uh, I'll usually just look at whatever's like like cat food. I usually don't pay for. <laughs> okay. Like it's food for cats. They could eat you know dirt. They yeah. should never have to pay for this. Uh. Just getting rid of all the waste meat you would have got rid of anyway. Meat. No. So I guess what I'm saying is. I hope that the self-checkout experience improves, but as of now, I find it substandard, and with too many, too many little needly things. You know, it's a They're huge, really... it's a huge advancement. Is on it? Shopping. They did huge. studies, and like it's Stuff. faster. This guy with his fucking it's studies. faster to go through the regular fucking checkout. It doesn't even make it quicker. It's just so they can pay less people. How would you feel if you were like? Imagine being like the lead checker at the grocery store that tested this, and then there's like a, a woman who comes in with like a clipboard and graphs, and she goes. We've actually found that the common retarded average person with zero training <laughs> is forty two percent better at this than the people we actually pay to do it. And you're just like, I would go by the study. I the go. study is law. <laughs> yeah. uh, down, she's like, oh, I, I can do worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, yeah. let me let me really. She goes, you're oh, hired you to make that case. She, Hold on, let me she, do it again. She's why, like, why, why, why are the self checkouts always broken? That's another fucking thing. You go, and then we got like two of them open out of ten. Yeah. The whole system <laughs> has not been thought through all the way. Um, Just fix it. Down in like Union Towns, like Long Beach, uh, they won't even the people there will refuse to use the self checkouts. Oh yeah, because it cuts down. Same with Vegas. The like the the check in people. Yeah, they're always lying about them being broken. It's like a big thing. That's oh, because they know they're gonna get fired. Yeah, if everyone keeps using it, so they're fucking you over so they can keep. Fucking up. Well, you ever go anyway. to like the airplane, try to check in? They go, you gotta use the, you gotta use the little screen. Yeah, it's great. Like, Why don't you just fucking boop, do boop, it? Boop, boop, boop. Done. Sometimes, if they're working, they're always broken. Yeah, I love that trick you could do at uh, McAllen at uh, or is McAllen? What's it? What's uh, McCarran in, in Vegas? Vegas. Oh yeah. Uh, where they have the web bag drop off, mm. you can actually go to a terminal, check in, and then just put your own bag over there. Like you did a web check in, but you oh, didn't. Yeah, oh. yeah. And then so, you don't gotta worry about anything. Yeah, oh. you could just cut the entire line and go. Yeah, I checked in uh, on the internet, and they go <laughs> here it is over there, and you go. Yeah, that's yeah. the internet. The internet. That yeah. counts as the internet. Yeah. It's connected to the internet at some point. Yeah. Okay. Well, My problem is shitty self checkouts. Shitty self checkouts. Okay. Um, Boom. Josh. Yeah, should, gonna... would you, should we do that one? The... Uh, whatever you have ready to I, go. Listen, man. I I hate. Uh, I think the biggest problem is self-aggrandizing fake memorial tributes. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, slash fake crying at memorials. Fake crying. S okay, wait. Self-aggrandizing. Okay. Memorial service. We'll, we'll, memorial. Just call it, we'll just call it fake or self-aggrandizing memorial behavior. Okay. Memorial behavior. <laughs> yeah. Memorial conduct. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't believe it's <laughs> correct conduct. Conduct. Okay. <laughs> so people who are acting like assholes at funerals? Yeah. Or just, or just putting on a production like we're watching Medea. 
you know, my baby. You There's know, no, shit like that. There's no way we've seen that. That's a you. I haven't seen. Medea. I have not I seen Medea. Medea. I'm aware of Medea and the way you've described it sounds in line with what See, I would expect. This is why expect. I laugh. Like people go, you know, oh, you're racist. I'm culture. Yeah, yeah. Josh yeah. Daniel goes. I understand the black community. I've seen Medea. Yeah. And the live. other Medea. How many Medeas are there? Live. I went to it live. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My baby. Yeah. yeah. How, how did that go? I guess you get a pass. Were you the loud one in the audience? No. That <laughs> <laughs> no. I just stood there counting them. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no. Did you go? Are barber shops important to your people? Yeah, no. It's a lot of barber shops. Yeah, I was I was thinking this. about that the other day. I was I had like uh, you know my dad's like eighty one, and I'll talk to him in the morning sometimes for hours. He's on the East Coast, and I hung up and I go of all the there's like genres of comedy, right? Slapstick, you know, dry one liners, sure, you know, storytelling. And I was the other day I had this realization. I go, my dad's favorite genre of comedy is. The way black people probably say words. <laughs> <laughs> because loady, he'll, loady. He'll literally just. Uh, uh, How do black guys say that? You can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, that's literally that's literally what's kept him alive for the last thirty years. It's rest him. They call it a rest him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stallberry. You know what I'm talking about? Stallberry. That's, literally, my dad will be at a restaurant. And he's like, "Give me that jam, that Stallberry, son." Oh no. And I'm like, "Dad, oh, no. what are you doing?" <laughs> and it's like, it's like you want to be mad, but you can't because you're just like, it is. Fun. Everyone's like, the, the waitress where he lives in like Delaware is like that is how they say it. That's proud. Strawberry. <laughs> well, we're all enamored with black culture yeah. in our own ways. That happened at a funeral? <laughs> no, no, that didn't happen oh. at a funeral. I, it just was a, a non sequitur. But no, Vito, Vito and I went to a memorial service on Monday and Yes. What I loved about I told Vito, I was like, first of all, and I don't say this to like jerk him off, uh, but Vito I could use a jerk. Vito off. went into a room full of comedians and was ten times funnier than all of them without even trying. <laughs> By accident, By I guess. By accident. <laughs> oh no. So, so, so what happens? I, I gotta tell that. <laughs> I had a so, pretty good line. So we go in and there's a couple, there's like a, first of all, there's like three or four comedians that publicly hate me on the internet there. Oh, cool. Oh, and you know all how right. and you know how these people are when you see them in person. Like I'm always I'll kill them with kindness. I'm always like, hey, how's yeah. it going? And they're just like, uh, you know, uh, uh. uh uh, you know, good. Uh, After they've just tweeted Josh Denny. Yeah, like Josh Denny's at this fucking memorial. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, at Food Network. Yeah, at Food Network. I don't understand why this guy... <laughs> st- why does he still have it in his bio? Do some serving paperwork. Take it out of his bio. <laughs> yeah, why do they... They're like obsessed with that. Like it's against the law Somebody's or something. Stop to him. say at Food Network in your biography. It's so funny. It leads people to believe you're still there. And go, oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Someone could be impressed by that. <laughs> yeah, he might be getting his dick sucked because of this. I can assure you, I'm not. Uh, oh, so we go to this. Well, you know, it's mon- monogamy. That's what it is. Beautiful. Uh, so we go to this thing, and and Vito, like uh, most people don't know Vito through like YouTube or this show or comedy or whatever in the LA scene. Like, I, yeah, because right. they know anybody, in their right. own thing. But he knew her through the gaming community and everything else. And so I'm introducing Vito to everybody, and they're like, oh, cool, you knew her. So then comics go up, and one in particular who's painfully unfunny. Oh, God, a, a comic funeral? Yeah, yeah. kind so of like sounds half of that. Yeah. So, this, so, this, so this comic goes up. First of all, they play a video, which is like half of the video is like funny stuff from stand up and and just like goofing around. And so the comics are laughing, but then the tragic thing is they also splice in fo- childhood <laughs> photos. And and then like and then like Yeah, it's, it was a real whiplash yeah, video. And, and Vito, we're like, "Oh, that's so funny." Like, and then, I remember when she was a child and had hopes, had and, hopes like, and dreams. We're like, "Oh, don't fucking put that there." Yeah, and so and like my <laughs> pussy stinks so much. It was literally like that. Well, thanks for the fire. It that's was always it, was it was literally like our friend like, "Fuck you, you fucking fuck and then yeah. it's and then the comics are like ah that's so her and then it's like her in the bathtub as a baby and the great aunt is like oh <laughs> and you're just like oh god like we did didn't- David Lynch make her <laughs> memorial it was yes thing. it was <laughs> it was it was, co- it was so, I was like I'm a, I'm laughing but now I want to cry and it's yeah. like oh, it was so brutal and then so naturally that's hilarious. only at a, at a comedian's oh mo- also you you might not have recognized this did you know the music that it was set to no oh that was a piano uh, arrangement from Final <laughs> Fantasy 7 which added a whole another layer which, of, which one uh, Eris's theme I think 
think it was? Oh. Do, 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 oh, do, do. The one that dies. Yeah. Oh, she oh, loved. Uh, oh, she loved so Final even, Fantasy. She dies oh. in the game. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No, it added a whole another layer of. Oh, so, this is sad. So anyway, uh, and by the way, Vito, I got to give him credit. Comes into this thing with just. Not memorial energy. Like, <laughs> Vino's in there. He's got a cocktail. He's like, so like, what are you? Who are all you guys? I got a margarita. He's like, what? A margarita? Is not a funeral drink. It was at like a Mexican restaurant or some shit. Mexicans have things other than margaritas. I don't you know what to get. I said whiskey. I was like, oh, just uh, tequila, tequila like, and soda. Literally anything. Did you have a big fun glass with it too? I, I, I tried to get stained one. Stained glass, like a cactus. I yeah, I wanted an umbrella and he's everything. Like, he's like, like margarita. Like, for me, please. He's literally over there like, so you guys are all comics, huh? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Tony Clifton. I so don't yes. fucking know what I'm right. supposed to do with these things. Which, is, Brad's dead, huh? <laughs> which, I, which I liked because it's it's blocking out the energy of these other oh. comics that hate me in the room, yeah. which I love. And I'm like, all right, cool, Vito. Like, you know, you're, you're sort of shielding me <laughs> from this <laughs> awful <laughs> energy. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> and so I'm a good, I'm a good memorial wingman. Great yeah. memorial wingman. If wing anyone's man. got any dead people in your life, oh, bring you, me if, along. If I die, die first, you have to do he, this yes, to me. Yes. Oh God, <laughs> please! I only want Vito. He's running my memorial. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, be insurance because it was like everybody's like, "How somber are we supposed to be?" And Vito's be selling like, t-shirts. Vito's like, "I don't think we should no, be, he'll somber be selling at all. enemy weapon." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have been selling copies of my card game. I should have been promoting. So anyway, got a margarita. Josh Denny loved Super Kill. I told it. Super Killer is great. <laughs> All my projects are wonderful. So, 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 what's funny though is that so there were comics who asked to speak at this thing like oh. ahead of time, and one of them got up, and I was like, okay, like even though I don't like this person, I'll be objective. They, he, you know, they were friends with our friend. Oh no. Yeah. And uh, you know, and if they have nice things, and literally starts like reading off their comedy resume and trying to relate it to their relationship with this dead person, they're like, "So I remember the first time I got my very first TV credit. It was on uh, Comedy Central, and, yeah. You know, and then this person did a really good job of trying to ground me. And I remember when I got my manager and my agent, and uh, you know, that and, was a weird one. They were basically like, I kept doing all this famous stuff, and Sarah would help keep me grounded. Yeah, it was just, and I'm I was like, like, oh, God, and now she's in the, the ground. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Around <laughs> the back, yeah. no, Grandma. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, <laughs> trying to high five the family. Hey, Ma Margarita you got it. You got it. You? you got it. So, so <laughs> we're all in the back, just cringing. What a self-aggrandizing, masturbatory speech this is. Oh God. And uh, and even at one point, this comic goes. God, I feel like I've been up here talking about myself too long. Is somebody going to give me the light? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. And I was like, oh. like I, <laughs> I was like, you're about to turn this memorial into a goddamn bloodbath, my friend. <laughs> so then. And, and so when this happens, put like a lever in me that you can trigger. So I put, pop so out I of the coffin. Up in the go, coffin uh, get <laughs> off the stage. Well, well there, was, there, was, there was no body. Let's just get that Sadly. out there. There was oh, no the body. It's already, she's already in the ground. Yeah, thankfully. that was. Oh. Uh, I think that was the part Vito was most disappointed. It in, is that there was no body to observe. I wanted uh, to see her bones. Yeah. We had a, so, so then, like, you know, so we had then, a running joke about her bones. It's very complicated. So, is it? Yeah. So this, so this, <laughs> so this comic does their set, right? Gets off stage. Leaves immediately, <laughs> like they've got another memorial to get to. Like I got to go do some open mics. Ten mic o'clock at the Who ice knows? house. Left and then later went on Twitter and was like, I was too emotional to stick stay around and, and hang do more out. Bits. Oh, yeah, these it was like, people. So gross, right? And so then a couple other, uh, like a couple other family members go up who are like Persian. She was half Persian, okay. and then a couple other open micers go up, and Vito goes up, and this is I'm what were the quote, Persians just, doing? Just during the comment, just family. No, you no, know, no. what were the persons talking about while these people were performing? Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I, oh. I, was, I couldn't see them. I was tucked in the back away from everything. <laughs> so uh, Vito goes up and he goes, uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Vito. I was a friend of Sarah's. Uh, just want to say I'm not Persian. I don't even really care for them. <laughs> <laughs> Levels the fucking room. Levels the room. Levels the room. Like the fam, the Persian family, everybody fucking Was the dying. family laughing? I didn't even... <laughs> dying. <laughs> dying. Well, because like three I'm people Persian. went on and they're like, I'm also Persian. Like it was a fun fact. I'm not and I went Persian. on and I go, I'm not Persian. 
Don't really care for him. And, <laughs> and even her Persian dad is like, oh! First emotion he showed all night. Dying. It was a good opener. And then he gets, and, then, and then Vito like goes on and tells a story and is like, it is like very affable and like likable. And then closes on something that's like super dark and gross, but funny and like again crushes the room just levels the room and he's like all right that's it for me and just walks <laughs> off and i go that dude just <laughs> destroyed in a room of comedians <laughs> uh, trying to be comedians <laughs> And yeah. every and so what was weird? My is buddies like, were like, "Dude, you should have done more time." I'm like, "It's not a show." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, and, yeah, it was you like, could have stayed up. You could have stayed. You could have done like three minutes of your dead friend material. I'm like, I feel like I wanted to give space to like the family, <laughs> yeah. to say stuff. And so it goes up, and or at just, least let other comedians, yeah, talk about how great they are. And then what was so amazing to me was like I watched at all the act, like the stand ups in the room. Just have that face of going, they immediately stopped caring about their dead friend and were Bitter. hating and were yeah. hating Vito for getting more laughs in the room than any of them could have. And, and you know the face where it's just like See, I missed all this because I just like went outside and I'm like, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I was like I literally I literally walked out and I was like you need to be doing stand up <laughs> because it was like, you know, I was like, there. And, and I say this in all honesty, yeah. I'm a very tough comedy critic, but there are people who just naturally have an ability yeah. to just snap a fucking room apart. And, and, I, and Vito did it at a fucking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I literally, I mean, but what if that's, you know, maybe that's my peak. Maybe shitting on Persians is just such, you know. <laughs> Oh maybe yeah, I'll never where match. Will you be able where to can work? I go where from will there? you find an audience for that? I know. Yeah. That's my only that's my only good <laughs> and, and, I, and I and I the only reason I was like I I don't think I could say anything because I, because everybody in the day was like how did you know Sarah? Like they cuz they didn't we didn't we weren't seen hanging out a lot. Yeah. yeah. And uh I was like, like, oh yeah. I was like, we had a, a pretty long relationship and mostly on social media and chatting back and forth and texting each other and stuff. And they go, oh, like, what did you guys talk about? And I was like, mostly different ways we could kill ourselves and <laughs> and, and shitting. So I don't know yeah. if I should share those stories. <laughs> no, I was like going through my phone. I'm like, what stories can I share about Sarah? And I'm yeah. like, oh man, she hated like all these fucking people. I can't talk about this. Well, what was hilarious oh. is her, her little sister's not a comic, but she's been around the scene a lot because they were attached at the hip and she would go with her to all these shows yeah and her little sister's like kind of woke i mean like early 20s but at one point she goes uh you know it, it was like very it's very tough sometimes when you have a family member who deals with like depression to let them feel that they're loved and she's like i'm glad that so many of you came here for her tonight even though we all know that so many of you are fucking horrible people <laughs> <laughs> and like just crushed the yeah, room we're awful and she's like you guys are all terrible the pieces whole LA she, she would have hated all of this yeah. right? <laughs> so it was just like uh, but yeah and and just watching like so not just people going and like using talking about a dead person to talk about themselves ugh and then the people with the fake, with the crocodile tears of like, oh, yeah. oh my God, it's just how many of these, you know, comics kept going, how many of these things are we going to go to? <laughs> I go, we really got to check in on mental health people. Yeah, I go, none of you actually pick up the phone and call people like a human being, you self-serving cunt. Yeah, that's but, the yeah. thing is I'm Not like, me, how many yeah. people, call someone else. so many of these people are like, Oh my God, I'm going through so much. I'm like, man, I called her like at least once a month, if not more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm like... I don't know. I haven't heard of half you people. Maybe yeah. they're connected. I don't fucking know. If Trump was still president, maybe yeah, that would have been like who was that one like black guy who went on? He's like, I didn't really know her that good, but she seemed kind of funny. Okay, bye. And I was like, why the fuck are you here? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to speak. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not, it's not yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> it was really weird. My buddy, so, my buddy Earl that I came with, who's a really well known comic in L.A., regular at the Comedy Store. He's like, listen, when the fry cook starts doing memoriams, it's time to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> She was my best customer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my at my grandpa's funeral, I don't know, like seven years ago or maybe yeah. eight years ago. Um, the preacher gets up during the middle of the funeral and starts plugging church. Like, oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, and he's like, well, you know, uh, if he had come uh, to church more, or no, like you know, we should all take this opportunity to like uh, remember to renew our faith and go to church our relationship because with the Lord. The reality is, is uh, you might go to hell. And Jesus you want to go? He's, no, he's talking about <laughs> he's talking about hell, and I'm like, I'm thinking, is this 
<laughs> this is the that guy is they're that always guy's doing right, the hard that guy's sell. body's right there and you're talking about a hell is this so I afterwards I said, said to my mom like what do you think it was her dad what do you think about that uh, that hell thing and she goes oh uh, my dad hated that preacher yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh. like he's always shitting he's always going up to him after church like, you know he goes every every Sunday he's always going like hey so uh, I got a few notes on your on your sermon yeah every yeah. every week he was needling him was like oh so that was like a revenge yeah that to, was a revenge to, homily. to bring the to bring the dish out <laughs> while his body is yeah. decomposing in the box <laughs> rent free grandpa rent free my uh, yeah. my dad's memorial was terrible for a number of reasons one of which was first the priest was late but they were like, okay, and now the priest is going to come and like say some shit. But they didn't realize the priest wasn't there yet, so we spent like 20 minutes listening to the organ, like playing lead-in oh. music for the priest. <laughs> At one point, my grand my grandpa was like, where the fuck is this guy? And I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, just go along with it. Then the priest finally gets there, made up some like bullshit story. And, like, I, I assume he was just stuck on the highway. He's like, oh, I was helping like some orphans or something. I'm like, no, you fucking oh. weren't. He just, just got started late. But he starts going on and on about the plot of the movie Meet Joe Black. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't he death? Is that in Joe Black? Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that he, is, yeah, is, he is Brad Pitt death? No, what? Is, I've never movie? seen the movie. Well, I, I mean, seen it. he explained the whole plot to us, like from beginning to I've end. I've seen Medea meets Joe. Doesn't Black. he meet? Doesn't he meet? Is Joe Black the <laughs> devil? Is that who he meets? I don't know. Yeah, in Medea meets Joe Black, he just runs a convenience store. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually Korean, believe it or not. Anyway, the priest. His name is Joe Black. <laughs> I thought. I think meet Joe Black. What's your name, Joe Black? <laughs> okay. Oh, what you thought I was gonna be? <laughs> You're Joe Black. Oh, what did you bra- think bra- I was gonna bra- be? Bra- 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 Joe bra- Joe Black. Bra- yeah. Uh, yeah. So for 20 minutes, he told us the plot of Meet Joe Black, where I think Brad Pitt talks to the devil or something. I don't fucking know. And okay, then afterwards, okay, okay, okay. people were coming. Up to me, what and they're an like, amazing so did your, fa- did your dad really lot. like Meet Joe Black? And I'm like, no, I don't think he'd ever seen it either. I don't know what this fucking yeah, my favorite, going on. My about. favorite part of a memorial service is when a guy's like, You guys ever see that? Uh, ah. <laughs> Can't you tell a story from the Bible? Uh, Not yeah, like a because, movie? Because <laughs> priests are giving, like, priests are doing a podcast every week. Yeah, that's yeah, what you don't basically. understand. That's really what so when doing. somebody yeah. dies, they're like, Fuck, I gotta do a bonus episode this week. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, what, am I, what am I driving into work? And then I watched The Matrix last week. That's got some. Jesus-y stuff in it. I'll talk about that. Preachers are just coming in like, is everybody caught up on Ozark? Yeah. (laughs) I don't want to spoil it, but I do have a lot of Ozark stuff I did always wonder, like, what the fuck does a preacher do every week? You gotta give us... Eventually you run out of Bible stories, you know? Well, I don't know if you know this, but that's why they... That's why they kept making them. If all, yeah, but eventually you run out of like human attributes where you go, well, today I want to talk about No, pi- people die piety. before they run out. Yeah. And you go, they're oh, dead. Yeah, I guess you recycle some. Guys, we have a New Testament. <laughs> yeah, well, this? they should keep making those. We talked about how the Bible needs new Bibles. But the IP rights won't uh, keep getting in the way. No, that was a, that was my argument for a, yeah. for a bottle. Anyway, that's yeah, your- I, Shitty memorials. Oh, you know what else is shitty about that memorial? Is that- they posted her obituary in first person, which made us all really confused. I died? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So going into the memorial, we're like, did she kill herself or not? And then it turned out the mom had like written it, and she like admitted to it. Like, like Anne Frank's diary? Yeah, it was like, my name is Sarah, and I was this years old when I died, and oh, I liked this no. and this. And I'm like, don't write a first person obituary. This is confusing and weird. Yeah. And then <sighs> and then like what was very strange is that like none of us really knew what had happened and then they just chose that memorial to announce yeah, at how some it point, happened. Yeah, like oh by the way here's how she died and we're like oh, oh okay. Ah! <laughs> like, a, like a post-credit scene. Yeah. <laughs> And, but what, what was kind of funny and also <laughs> shitty at the same time is that all of us were looking around like we knew it. That's yeah. what we thought. Every, we, well, now the o- the audience has to know how she died. It's, I mean, you can't uh, say one of those classic suicide type situations. Yeah, just you know, we don't know how she. They didn't give us all the details. They didn't go like, oh, she blew her head off. Yeah, oh. I, I, all I, I didn't want to speak. I just went up and I go, was it any of these that I bet on <laughs> between the two of us? Yeah. I have a pool going. And we have a betting pool going. Anyway, just, our <laughs> good friend Sarah Mostajabi. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace. Oh. She was great. What does her sister and look like? I think COVID made her go. Crazy. What does the sister look like? Yeah, is she that, she's we gotta younger. bring you to is the that next long one. Enough? Did I wait long enough? No, before asking? Long I've enough. been waiting a long First time. First of all, wait long enough. the whole family very nice. <laughs> they're a good, they're all right. a good looking they're a family. Good, they're right. a good crowd. All right. Yeah, I I could never because they race mixed because the father's Persian and the mom oh. is like white, right? Or Hispanic, oh. maybe I don't know, but or like, but not Persian. 
I think she might. Persians, yeah, I think she might be Jewish. Like my girlfriend, Sarah would tell a joke where she's like, "Half my family wants to kill the other half." I'm like, "Oh, that's funny." Because she's so I think she's half Jewish. Oh yeah, I think I think you're right. I think that I I do think I remember. I don't remember the exact joke. She looked she looked like spitting image of one of my aunts who was my my favorite aunt growing up. So like there was no I could never like find her attractive. No. Um. But yeah, she was very. When you cross the races, it results in attractiveness. It's great. Yeah, my girlfriend is full Persian, and she just looks like uh. Uh, who's the actor? Uh, God, me, actor. Me, 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 Joe Black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys see me, Joe she Black? She looks like Aziz uh, and Zari. No, no, I have no idea. No. What she, I have of, no idea what she looks no. like. Master of none. Who, master who's of none. Who's the Italian actor that's not not Chaz Palminteri? Oh, uh, Robert De Niro. What do you mean Italian? <laughs> Italian actor? A- that one the Italian actor. No, the one the one who used to own Taste of Chicago. And he was in Barry on Sunday. And he's oh god, he's like a famous. Not Danny Aiello. What's the one? Timothy Chalamet. Uh, it's not the uh, um, Mario. Joe Montaigne. Oh, okay. oh, that's who Simpsons my girlfriend. Guy. That's who my she girlfriend really looks, looks like. Looks like Joe Montaigne. <laughs> Joe Montaigne. Joe Montaigne. Three. Yeah, if he transitioned, <laughs> if he transitioned, that would be my girlfriend. So you don't want a full blooded person. I want you to you picture. Go I want you to picture Joe Montaigne with the best tits you've ever oh, seen no. in your life. Now when I meet her, I have to not react to this thought. <laughs> <laughs> You've been meaning to You're going to be on your phone. You're going to be scrolling. What are the, oh, she's yeah, there's go. All right. Turn it on. Here we go. No, no. It, it's it's Her father looks more like that, but she looks like exactly like her father. And so now that I joke, like, well, then you look like Joe Montaigne. <laughs> and, uh, now I see why you're not getting blowjobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not helping. Yeah. Not, uh, okay. Uh, so that, that's your, what's your problem again? Uh, uh, he gave it to you. Ba- wrote down. You wrote it down. Yeah, I ba- can't write with this hand. Inappropriate memorial conduct. Inappropriate memorial. Inappropriate conduct. memorial. Well, that sounds like all Mo- other things. Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> That's like touching conduct. the touching memorial. The corpse, corpse desecration. desecration. Emotion, yeah. Emotional memorial embellishment. How about that? We'll come okay. up with some. I'll, 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 we'll put it down. We'll put it down. I know this guy, this comedian I used to work with. Uh, one of our friends' wives died. And he brought his new girlfriend to the ceremony. Yeah. And she was like taking, like screaming at the coffin, taking selfies with it. What the fuck? This is right after I stopped working with him. Oh, wow. That's, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Wow. That's super weird. Have fun with that. His one, new but. girlfriend was doing that like performatively? Like, yeah, didn't yeah. even know her? Ex now. No, oh. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even, not really. She's just not good around. How death. is, how is yeah. the, by the way, how is not the number one thing on the fan voted list of this show just women? Everywhere. Well, because we haven't brought cheating. them in yet. We haven't brought in just women. Women yet. anywhere, everywhere, all of women's the time. tears and the cowardice of women have yeah. both scored very highly. Okay, my problem is uh, backseat Googlers. Yes. So I was, I was trying to set up this Ralph Worski fight, mm. and I reached out to pretty much everyone I know, saying, "Look, do you know anybody who does fighting?" Because uh, Keem's still. You're trying to do it in LA? I don't care where. I don't care where. I'll do it in the boat. In the You're like, I'll the, fly in I'll to fight in, someone. Yes, yeah, I'll do it in space. Uh, I reached out to everyone. Hey, 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 do you know anybody who could do this? Do you know anybody who could do this? Set up like a whatever box. Should be match. easy. Man, you would think. Everything's hard. Yeah. Uh, and I get a reply back from my buddy saying, I got it. And he says, uh, he sends me a screenshot of a thing. He says, charity boxing match, the statute of California law. And I was like, okay. And he goes, dude, it's the first Google result. Just search for how to do boxing. <laughs> like, <laughs> And there you go. There you go. It says it right there. Yeah, and then you got to do you. is have a charity bo- boxing. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. And then the meanwhile, you type athletic in a gaming commission. You type in exactly what he tells you, and it gives you like, are you looking for box packing shipping <laughs> uh, places in the valley? And you're just like, oh, uh, I, I guess what I did Google it. And I got a completely different industry. Nonsense. Yeah. No, yeah. Backseat Googler that, hey, can you Google? No. You you do it. <laughs> you do your own. in the car with you. Hey, Jamie, pull that up. And you're yeah. like, I, what? I'm not, we're not running a show. No, this is not, that's not how this works. You have your own. Backseat Google. So the problem is when people Google something that you could have Googled yourself. Obviously, I, yeah. obviously I went obviously through the you're trouble of Googling. Available. Obviously, I went through the trouble of Googling it. Yes. One time. Once. There you go. That's my problem. Let's do it. Also, maybe I thought you might have some expertise from your fucking worthless life <laughs> <laughs> experiences. I wasn't asking you to Google it. Yeah. Do you, under- you understand that part? Yeah. I was asking you for, like, you know, a little bit more. Can we brainstorm for a second? 
You know? Do we have to be sitting on pods at Google no. <laughs> to just think with our own brains? Let's pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah, Google, do I, I don't understand. You do know there's literature out there about this, right, Dick? I'm not 70 years old. Yeah. I know <laughs> how to do the computer <laughs> yeah. and self-checkout. <laughs> You don't like when they send you the link Google. to the I Googled it for you, that little you I ever love, have that? I love sending that to people. You love sending that to people. Oh, Doesn't that God. make you the backseat Googler? Not because they ask stupid questions. Yeah. So if it's stupid, it's okay. Yeah, if it's stupid if it's complex, like setting up your own boxing situation. If it's any if I get an answer back that's like something that they Googled, yeah. I'm like, well, you know. It's not helpful. Per- yeah, I already knew that much. Yeah. Give me a little, you know. Help me out. Yeah. Me it's it's like the modern equivalent of the old IT. All right, is it plugged in? Yes. <laughs> like you've done this to me. Yeah. Have, have you, you reset? Have you the restarted it? Have you Google? Go, go, is it, it plugged yeah, in? It. Yeah, it's plugged in. Okay, that's let's. This is getting. Let's do. We're super gonna wrap chats. it up. We're getting long winded. All or right. No, let's do voicemails. I just can't top the memorial. No service with what's, anything. What's I tried to think of a dumber it. problem on the spot, but I couldn't. Backseat uh, Googlers. Backseat Googlers. Vito, what are you? Uh, s- shitty self checkouts. Shitty self checkouts. Okay. Yeah, my backup. And my backup was uh, government sponsored fake shootings, uh, mass shootings. But we'll save that for yeah, next we'll time. We'll save that one. <laughs> we'll get to that one. That Please one. come back and do that. Yeah, I would love do to. do that the next time they do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Midterms oh, are going to be no. brutal, so you know they're going to be oh, doing a yeah. lot. Yeah, of they're, they're going to have about. Oh, they got okay. it. Listen, I don't know if you guys monkey know. pox. And this you video want, has do, just been uh, demonetized. Do you, do you guys want me to pull up the schedule and tell you the tour dates? And we don't care if it's been demonetized because if we have so many patrons. So as many our one supporters. Year. Yes. It's amazing. What are we at? Like $5,000? We're almost at $5,000. Yeah. I'm so glad we didn't put any I don't look goal. at it in terms of money, Dick. I look at it in terms of number of supporters. Which oh, is at, yeah. I, I look at it at 1100 <laughs> something. I mean, the money's the money's helping. Okay, let's do some voicemails in and this we'll... time of great economic turmoil. You guys are helping me find baby formula. Let's put it that way. What the fuck are you doing with that? Dude? I mean, I used to it's be basically a milkshake. So yeah, <laughs> I used to be able to just buy breast milk from Ethiopian women, yeah. and now the price listen, is skyrocketing. Listen, I'm going to go with my gut here. I bet you got no problem scanning that one in yourself, <laughs> do you? <laughs> oh, look at that! Went right through. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. we so it. now is the time to do super chats. Now is the time? No, now is the time to put in your super chat. Oh, put chats. in your super chat so we can get to them. Do you don't want to be fumbling for your credit no, card no, no. at the last moment. You get gotta it do in. it we now. We'll be reading them soon. Here we go. You know, it's actually funny that you brought up Frank Miller in the copyright debate. Yes. Because um, he was actually, like, really pissed off about the 9-11 attacks, and he wrote a story where Batman fights Al-Qaeda. It's called Holy Terror. Obviously, DC did not want to push that story, so huh. Frank just rewrote the whole thing and just made Batman this dude called the Fixer. Anyway, the comic was complete dog shit, but it would have been 20 times funnier if it was just Batman fighting terrorists. Don't you think so? Love the show. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I'm not yeah. like, I mean, I guess that would have been good. He should have just done it. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, IP prevented him from doing that. Are you pro or anti Batman fights Al Qaeda? I would have been very interesting, but I understand that it was not in line with what DC wanted for the character. He's not saying. Do and you understand both the sides. character? Look, I'm not saying that nobody could ever make a good Batman story other than them. It's just he went and he made his own book, so that's almost better. Do you want to see? Yes, I want to see Batman, and he could have punched uh, his Osama gadget- bin Laden or whatever the fuck. <laughs> his gadgets aren't really sand compatible. You know what I mean? Like, what's he going <laughs> to just shoots up into the air and comes back down? Frank Miller got in a lot of trouble for that book. He's just the reason that he's like, uh, got this, you know. Little- Did Osama act like the Joker or anything? No. Like, uh- By the way, they have Batman fighting Al Qaeda. It's called Moon Knight. <laughs> Oh, is I that haven't what watched the show. Yeah, it's it's like all Egyptology. And, yeah, but yeah. he's not fighting Al Qaeda. He's probably fighting. I mean, coalition. Is it, is it Al Qaeda? Yeah. Isn't he though? Probably. Probably. Uh, okay, this is cash register guy. Vito, you messed up the biggest problem. Of course, I about did. About the donations at the cash registers. The biggest problem with that isn't just the annoyance of it. It's that the companies are taking your donations. Oh. Uh, Adding them uh, all together, uh, and at the end of the uh, year, they're taking that money and using it as a tax. Right wrong! Off, or fucking wrong! Incorrect! 
So no, they're not, you dumb motherfucker. Oh, I don't bring in fake fucking them. shit for the show. <laughs> I bring you real <laughs> shit, you dumb piece of shit. We already talked about this. Fuck you. You're wrong. Wrong. We already talked about that. Very good debate. Also, how would you ever take income and write it off as a deduction? It's not how it works. They don't, That's somebody who doesn't even they don't know taxes, taxes at all. At all. No. I almost brought in payroll they tax. They actually just have. take that money they and then write it money. off. They just write like, it off. Do you know what a write-off is? <laughs> no, but they're the they're ones, the ones writing it off. Yeah. Writing it off. <laughs> I don't know if you understand. It's a write-off. See, what they do is they make that $10 million, but it's all a write-off. It's a write-off. Yeah. Thank you for letting me uh, tell that gentleman he's a complete idiot. You were no, just you're, talking you're about correct. how much you're grateful of the fans and stuff. Not the dumb you... ones. Oh. The only people I'm appreciative of the Vito File Plus. Also, also. They're my boys. That's another candidate for biggest problem is, well, actually, fans. Well, actually. Well, actually, I don't know if you guys oh, we get, know We this? get plenty of those. D Dick just made a face <laughs> like. That Batman book, somebody left a comment. I can't believe Vito didn't bring up Holy Terror of the Family. Yeah, whatever. There's only 20 minutes to talk about each problem, all right? Well, that was can't a funny voicemail everything. about Holy Terror, though. No, yeah, that was helpful. I'm saying the other guy, there's guys like complaining, like, Vito's such a fucking idiot because he doesn't know about this comic. Obviously, I know about Holy uh, Terror. You want to hear Vito idiot by, uh, voicemails? Vito, yeah. you Frank fucking Miller. bootlicker. Yeah, what's up? The copyright laws are just shit. Can you Fuck imagine you. The fucking, like, McDonald's had the copyright on a cheeseburger. Yeah, you that's not a you can't copyright a cheeseburger. They, they you can't copyright recipes. That's one of the default right things now. that we know. Hey, it's a terrible fucking or, example. Hey, no, you can't. Do, you can't or, patent hey, any recipe. Why? Ever. Hey, you can't. Why not? Because food is not right a protected uh, <laughs> class of whatever. Batman. Shut the fuck up! You don't know. You can't. Oh my god. No, that's not. That's literally not. You can't patent a fucking cheeseburger no more. recipe no, can be copyrighted because it's just you can't the assembling ingredients is not a thing you can copyright you have no idea what you're talking about I, I think you understand that's why mcdonald's is good because they can't copyright that. cheeseburgers shut the fuck up you have no idea what you're talking about i submit to you the well actually fan <laughs> Right at the end, he just put a perfect bow on it. Well, actually. So you don't, you think they should you copyright should know cheeseburgers this. No, or you what? Can't, they can't because it's just, you can't tell somebody they can't cook food in a certain way. Yeah, that's, way. that's why. That's just moving So the guy that made around. up the cheeseburgers just asked out of all his profits, but pharmaceutical companies can cure diabetes Because there's seven nothing times novel that. about taking different types of food and combining that. That's what food is. That's what that's, medicine there's is. There's no novelty to it. Why is Martin Shkreli, did, why did he go to jail then? I don't, well, no, Martin Shkreli shouldn't be in jail. He went to jail for Dick, embezzlement. Don't you know that you got to That's a whole different fucking thing. If he just thing. melted cheese over it, he's good to go, baby. You yeah. cannot copyright a recipe. That's why that's why they have secret uh formulas. They copyrighted for food. like a one click button for Amazon. That's why when they say Coca-Cola has a secret formula or whatever, it's because if it got out, that's why drinks say things it. like proprietary blend. Oh. Not proprietary blend. So that's okay that's what that. allows them to not disclose all of the If they, they want to keep a secret, but what I can't can I go do? like Mickey Mouse. Oh, he's a little fucking horny mouse. He's got two little big ears. Just call him Mitchy Mouse. But it's not as good. Around. But it's what's interesting though, and I don't know this hundred percent because I'm not a fucking dork. Uh, but there's only a certain percentage of something's ingredients can be proprietary blend. Oh. Yeah, you can't have the whole the thing because yeah. you need nutrition. Yeah, labels. you need the nutritional information. Oh. So it's like a certain percentage. That's why the whole concept of food labeling is stupid anyway. Like, yeah, I don't. It's it messes I know, up the packaging I, too. I, I want to know, know how many calories. It yeah, has. I, I want to know what's in what I eat. Yeah, <laughs> as you fucking smoke three packs a day. How good does it make you feel? Like that's how bad it is. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, you know, like, whenever I eat healthy, I just go, well, I don't feel uh, like that wasn't even a thing. Uh, okay, here we go. Hey, guys, it's your old pal, JP. <clears throat> the biggest problem in the universe is uh, female fear-mongering. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, it is very scary to be a fucking woman. I was going to have my sister-in-law drive my family to the airport so we can go to Mexico and it's too scary now because there's going to be a little bit of snow on the ground. And my brother is freaking the fuck out because we were going to drive to Denver, and then she was just going to drive back, drop us off at the airport, drive back. My brother is freaking the fuck out because in broad daylight, apparently, his wife is going to get raped at any <laughs> gas station she pulls over at. Wow. 
Oh my Denver, God! Is it's she not fucking Gotham talk, City? Talk about paying at the pump, so now am I right? I have to <laughs> drive all the way to the I fucking did that. airport. Just watching it. Fucking five hour drive. Park my car there for a couple hundred dollars, and then come back and drive all the fucking way back. Oh, well, you don't want Instead her to get raped. Of the people who are currently yeah. living at my house for fucking free, doing me a solid. No, you Female need to put your foot down. down. Yeah, you got to kick you them need out. To, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go on a limb here and say this is just the biggest problem in your universe. Yeah, Yeah, that's easily fixed. If they're using I'm going to get raped as an excuse to not drive you to the airport. This guy's like, uh, biggest problem, my wife, who is a cunt. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Aren't you doing it twice? You're doing your part to prevent them from getting raped by giving them a house to hide from the rapists. You're already going the extra mile. The only thing I would do is if I drove by a gas station and a woman's getting raped is I would go up and put one of those I did that Joe Biden stickers (laughs) on her. Ass cheek. <laughs> uh, Dick, I, I did want oh, to wait, mention. Want to pl- oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go on, ahead. on the last show, as we were reading the super chats, yeah, someone mentioned taking a shower and having to deal with the tube of hair. Does that count? That's the question. Many in the comments <sighs> were arguing whether or not we should be strict. Or no, lenient. I don't think that counts. Tube of hair. Because it's, it's not. Close. It doesn't sound like to be fair. They try to trick him into saying to be fair because he's used to say it all the time yeah. before they gave him a complex. Uh-huh. So they'll put it between words. But tube of hair is not. No, because the H from hair is very apparent. Yeah, maybe yeah. if you had an accent. If I if I, I slurred it together, I went tube of hair. Like, yeah, well, yeah, there's one. Yeah. I've sucked. Cox. I'll give yeah. that one there. But I don't a little think morning that radio action counted. for you. All right. Well, we've got some super chats. And uh, before we should we do plugs after? Yeah, no, no, Josh, plug your plug your stuff. Oh yeah, where do we uh, find uh, you? Hey, big show, June twenty fifth, Orlando, Florida. Oh wow. shit! Uh, you can get tickets to see me, Gavin McInnes, and Anthony Cumia. Yeah, you guys are doing oh, the big God. throwdown for what censored TV? Yeah, first censored TV live go. show ever. Wow. You should come, man. Let's go to be... Orlando. Dick. Do stand up. You should come. I got I got I've been working on some stand up. Really? You yeah, I've come. been writing some jokes over the pandemic. Well, like what? Let's hear one. Uh, I really got to do stand-up right Two now. Two vaccines walked into a <laughs> Fauci. Ouchie. I'm not going to do stand-up right now. Let's Come let on. do his plug. One? He's doing a plug. No, one that's, joke. That's all the right, plug. All right, all right, all right, all uh, right. What do you call it? You ever watch that movie, The Truman Show? You know, where his life's like a, like <laughs> yeah. a TV show? Yeah. Do you ever think about at what point your Truman Show would have got canceled? You know, at what point the audience goes, I think I've watched this fat guy masturbate enough times. Not really getting anything else out of this. All right, he's either eating tacos, crying, or masturbating. Those are the three episodes of the show, and they just yeah. kind of loop them around. Got a big laugh when I you came up I with this during. COVID. I take back everything I said previously. No, I'm kidding. I made a I got, huge mistake. I got a good laugh <laughs> when there was a crowd. Do you do I'm like? Kidding. Do you do like actions this to go along you can't, with it? Yeah, there's can't, like a whole bunch oh, going on. This is why you can't paraphrase comedy. You can't like paraphrase you can't. It's like you just end up sounding like you're explaining your. Bits. That was my comedy. Yeah, that's your. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. No, walk us through it. Well, uh, we went to that. That uh, you remember, we went to that brewery last week after the show. Yeah, what did you that talk That would have been like them? a great. That would have been a great open night, Mike. We need more like good open mic nights. We're, ta- we're talking about doing a doing something that way. That's just like fucking, you know, like a monthly or a bi weekly or even a show weekly show or something. something. Or yeah. I mean, maybe a weekly you want to stay show. in L.A. Yeah, and do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and just do so- where where there's actually funny people up and like people the people that go up you actually watch and. The problem with yeah. most of the shows in L.A. is that it's just shitty comics trading their spot for a spot on somebody else's shit. Oh. And, like, I don't want to do that at all. I'm like, let's have our own thing that's for us to go up and be funny. Mm-hmm. And then let's just put other funny people up. And you have to tell one joke about fat women. That's, that's the rule. I'm fine with that. That's the rule. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot, and it can't be, like, a joke about you. Yeah. It has to be at yeah. their As a fat woman. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> We should do a fat. It can't be like a sub, like um, fat women. Like I'm even worse. Like no. We should no, do no, a no. monthly fat watch show, Dick, and you can uh, present. Oh the my fat god, watch that findings. sounds amazing! Fat watch live. Fat watch live. Get you uh, get your presenters uh, outfit uh, and everything. Fat watch live on the Santa Monica Pier. <laughs> <laughs> I could dress like Ahab. Dick, you should be making Come a on. pilot for a Fat Watch show, I think. I'll be killed. I th- you'll be killed. I'll be killed. 
<laughs> so I know. Canceled. He's like, I'll be killed. I'll be killed for that. So I'm Josh right. Denny, we can find it. him in Orlando on the 25th of June. Is that what 25th you said? 25th of June. You get tickets at joshdennycomedy.com. The link's on the joshdennycomedy.com. And, and follow you at Josh Denny on Twitter. Yeah. That's a good I'm one. I'm still there and, and on Instagram. Have you? The Food Network's Josh Denny is here. You Let's do threads on Twitter. I do sometimes. I know it's going to be a good day when I wake up and see you. Josh Denny has got that little line. I'm like, ooh, yeah. all right. This well, one's not going to be funny at all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're just all like they're all just like existential th- yeah i i don't know i wake up so i guess what's weird is like when i'm in that place in the morning usually it's i'm up all night i didn't wake up and go you know what i fucking think oh. i'm up all night and this is on and i'm like i gotta dump it somewhere and i dump it on twitter and then i go to sleep yeah yeah what were you gonna say is, it, obno- is, is it obnoxious tw- he's a good twitter no, follow oh, i'm okay. gonna say i don't care I yeah would, i, I uh, would follow josh denny and i do follow josh denny yeah, I I mean I I I just have always liked the medium, and I and I people are always like, how come you're not at an open mics? I go, that's what Twitter is for. Yeah, exactly. If that's you can't test the material, if you can't condense your joke concept into a tweet and then field test it to find out if the idea is good at all, mm. and that's that's basically how I yeah. got better at writing. God, I had a great tweet the other day. Did you see my Did you see my Norm Macdonald joke? Was it about the Truman Show? No, 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 <laughs> no. It was about the. Uh, <laughs> shut up. That's a great. That's a great bit, and it kills. Uh, I bet it'll be even better though if you get it into a tweet. It was Norm Macdonald weekend update. Did you see this? And uh, it goes the new Scooby Doo. It will be starring an Asian Velma. This is true from Mindy Kaling. <laughs> Look, stop right an there. Asian that Velma. Was, that was not funny. That joke's not funny. I <laughs> no, loved that no. joke. That was a good joke. All right, I want to. Because she wouldn't much? say. Why would she say that? Because she says jinkies normally. But she wouldn't. There's no Asian <laughs> mix up of a ch and a j. I said her catchphrase has been changed. I don't say it! <laughs> to a certain word. One of my f- rhymes with jinkies. One of my favorite. All right. I, you know what's funny is I forgot that I tweeted this joke. I forgot I even had this joke because it's such like a short one liner. Yeah. And I tweeted it after the last like mass shooting. <laughs> that was like racially okay. motivated. Uh oh. I'm pretty good at striking on uh, on tragedies. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're funny. Yeah. That's but, the only time but that I it said, gets funny. I was like, I just, I hope we can hate, I hope we can heal the racial divide. And I, I say, this was one of Sarah's favorite jokes, yeah. is what reminded me of it because we, t- oh. we were texting about it. And I said, uh, I said, I wish we could heal the racial divide in this country. I don't understand why white people and black people can't just come together over the things they both love, like shooting unarmed black people. <laughs> <laughs> and it, was, it was like so per- And I was like, God, maybe. That's and then the thing good. happened on Saturday. And I was like, mm, do I reel it back <laughs> do up? I reel out? Do I go back do on I, this Do one? I give her the old retweet? What do See? I do? See? Yeah. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, Piccolo, the driving <laughs> ape for $1.49 with a super sticker of a hot tub. Thank you, Piccolo. Isn't that corrupt for five? Says, my problem is sinkholes. I am not comfortable with the idea that the ground could vanish beneath my feet as I am bored by the earth itself. This is government psyop, bro. I've seen some sinkhole <laughs> videos. They are uh, scary. Uh, TBF for two says, Vito is always hot because Vito is fat. In, uh, correct. Oh. Coffee split for five. When did this show turn into the biggest fat people <laughs> in the universe? <laughs> now that's funny. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Moss man for two. I'm colorblind. But see, but see, Which one is Vito? Hold on. Hold on, oh, no. hold on though. Oh, hold on. No. See, but fat, if I'm going to joke Smith this yeah. a little bit, fat is redundant. It should have been when did this show turn into the biggest, the biggest people, people in the, in the universe? universe? No, you got to put fat no, in there. It works not better. as good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Difference of, word, I, yeah. I'm a less is more kind Kind of guy with comedy, not more with more. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta go. You gotta put it in there. Wet <laughs> Bandit for ten. Monday. I already know this is going somewhere. Anytime they have a story, I went to the National Beekeepers Convention and on Tuesday to the California Honey Festival. It was great that I got to go to two bee fairs. <laughs> That's horrible. That I can't believe you gave him that one. Half for 10 bucks. Moss Man yeah, for you two. You already get the money. I know, but <laughs> I feel like if they really took all this time to talk about the honey conventions and whatever else. I actually like that. I, I, I like the fact that they put time they into They are putting way too much. Uh, yeah. this. You I mean, know? You again. You them too much if it's not as good, though. You're right. I'll try to I'll try to keep it to the only good ones. Moss Man for two says, Vito Feds Waldi confirmed. Am I a fed? Juanita Perez for Mexican $20. Shout out to my homie, Reefy Boot Backwards Fella. Oh. Oh, he wants me to read his friend's name backwards, which yeah. is Reefy Boot, yeah. which would be Tube If Er. 
That does not count no. at all. Mexican $20 is not $20. No, it's so. not. Pop quiz for 10 says anniversary money. Happy oh, anniversary thanks. to the biggest oh, problem in nice. the universe. Kino review for five. Denny, did you hear that Joey Diaz has gone into hiding ahead of Red Bar's return? Will you be joining him? Joining him where? Joining him in hiding. his bunker. Yeah, I don't, I don't think know. he's hiding. He's in New Jersey. Frode for last five. I checked, the last I checked, people don't hide in New Jersey. Okay, I'm going to also say this. Everyone who keeps trying to reference Near Automata, which has a character named 2B, the, we, I'm spotting these from a mile away. But oh. Frode for five was playing Near Automata recently. My favorite character is 9S, but my friend's angry at me because his favorite is 2B. F enough, I guess. All right, you're not getting that one. Piccolo for two. Is soup plantation still a thing? Oh, the garlic bread. All soup plantations have uh, gone out of business due to COVID. It's very sad. Mm. I like soup plantation. Really? What was your favorite part? Uh, eating unlimited <laughs> soup and bread. <laughs> like what? What other part would there be? What? <laughs> that was my favorite part of the experience. Also, sneaking uh, in when it was I, like at high time with all the Asian people and just grabbing a plate and going nuts. Uh, I live in an Asian neighborhood, and they loved soup plantation. Yeah. Jack Gonzalez for two. Come on, Vito. Don't lie about buying a salad. It is in my fridge. I may eat it. Titanic for two. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look, I got it How long in do you anticipation. Think they, last? <sighs> they last like a couple days. Anticipation of what? Of, of wanting to eat salad, and then I just didn't eat it exactly oh, then. Oh, that thing is doomed. <laughs> that salad. Look, I'm not saying I've never not thrown <laughs> that, out a salad. That but... salad, as you're taking it, I was like, no, you've, you've made some kind of mistake. Put me back. Put me back with my friends. <laughs> a nice Greek salad. I, I, will, I will make time for it at some Just point. Just into the incinerator. <laughs> Pop quiz for two says At least give watch. it to a homeless man. He's not going to eat my leftover Greek salad. Cooper, it's not leftover. It's not started. Whatever. It's secondhand salad. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants a secondhand salad. Only fat people have secondhand <laughs> salads to donate. <laughs> I have dealt with many secondhand salads in my life. Cooper Billups for two. Tess Holiday inspired sexy veto calendar. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Titanic for eight. <laughs> Just got, I already know this is going somewhere. Just got $25 worth of booby tape for free due to the fail of a self checkout. Self checkouts are the biggest solution in the universe. Oh, you fucked up. Yeah, wait, did I? Yeah, you thought that was a joke. Twenty five. Well, it just it really read like one. Who's buying twenty five dollar booby tape? What is boob booby tape? I'm confused. Rej for two says uh, gives us a super sticker that says "Game Over." And what is that a picture of? A picture of your death. I love I love the stickers. They're my favorite. Pinalco for two. Josh's dad is Steven Seagal. Oh yeah, because I know what that's a reference to. You ever you ever watch Steven Seagal's reality show? No. So Steven Seagal, Tom Segura has joked about it in his stand-up, but Steven Seagal uh, is like a real-life cop in Louisiana. Yeah, okay. And he, has a, rea and he has a reality show that follows him around as a cop, and he'll literally just start talking to the ethnic, like to the person in whatever ethnicity they are. Yeah. So like if it's an Asian person, he'll like <laughs> bow to them. And if it, and if and if it's like a black person, he's like, oh, let me tell you something about the Playboy. What you doing out here on the streets? <laughs> Maybe that's good. Like Maybe that mom. is good policing though. Yeah. Maybe that's helpful. <laughs> but you it's know? funny because everyone's like, wow, this is really patronizing. Steven Seagal goes, man, he said they right over there. Let's go play. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like man, is you you is out for justice, isn't you? I yeah, I told you that's out for justice. They just call him by the titles of his Steven movies. Steven Seagal has some fucking powers, man. Yeah. He's a real Aikido master. Charisma. Yeah, charisma and uh, stick to itiveness. Yeah. Rich F for five says Amber Lamps. Mm. That is also a fun word. Dominic for five. I'm turning 18 on the 8th and I just quit my job. Any ideas of what I should do before the depressing grog of life takes over? Thanks. I don't know. Go to tech school or something, man. You're 18? You're 18? Uh, Ida, you could drink a whole fucking cube of Mountain Dew. <laughs> red, you could eat a whole zone. bag of Cheetos and feel nothing. You could do <laughs> You could do every drug in your vicinity did and you feel guys, nothing. Did you guys see that like viral video of like the male OnlyFans guy who just like dumped a, bu a bag of cash on his sister and was like, here's your student loan money? From women oh, looking at my. Oh, because he's an OnlyFans guy. Yeah, and he was oh, like, wow. from, it's like paid for by women yeah. looking at my dick. <laughs> Anytime <laughs> I meet a girl who doesn't have an OnlyFans, I go, wow, you. I mean, 
an attractive girl who doesn't have an OnlyFans. I'm like, what are you, dumber than the rocks? Yeah, Only OnlyFans killed You know why I was always mad at Sarah? Because she went to Notch's mansion and didn't suck his dick. I'm like, what are you, fucking stupid? If you're in Notch's mansion, he literally has a billion dollars. Yeah. Just go for it. Even if it's a one in a hundred chance if I, that if, you end up his concubine. If or, I thought either of you had a billion dollars, I would already have you both yes! in my mouth at the same time. Always suck the billionaire's dick. Uh, That's why this girl who's suing <laughs> Elon Musk, I'm like, come on, you shot your shot. You don't get to complain. Playing afterwards. Yeah. All right. Two hundred fifty thousand was not. You got two hundred fifty thousand. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry you didn't get the whole shebang. Not everybody gets to be Bezos's fucking wife or whatever. All well, right. Couldn't have gone worse. And Mr. Abtruse for ten says, Vito, please inform the world. I'm an exceptionally straight man, and anyone who thinks otherwise is a fool. Ah, fascinating. Well, we're gonna refresh <laughs> real quick. Was that a reference to something? What the fuck? Yeah, was that they for? always. Well, uh, he's gay. He's he's in my Discord. Oh, he's, he's a, a Discord gentleman. He's gay, and he won't come out of the closet. No, Mr. He's always arguing. Isn't it funny how everybody, Embrace the queer future. Funny how everybody wants you to come out of the closet as gay, but nobody wants you to come out of the closet as racist. Yeah. <laughs> You know, or it's just, just a belligerent well, no, white no, like, bigot. Somebody's like the one, the mom that never swears. He's like, ah, come on, give yeah. us an give us an N word. You know, what do you think? What did you think about that? They just was like, oh, this. Do you notice anything similar about those people that you keep complaining? All right, <laughs> yeah. okay. No, they're just you Turn know into one of those. I love my mom. I love when they dance around it. You know, yeah. What we, I, mean? like, I went to Europe with my family for the first time when we were kids. And my mom's like, oh, this, this up, this, the train station, is just, it's dangerous. I'm like, what makes it dangerous? <laughs> what about it? Like, what about it you, specifically? Why do, you think, why do you think it's dangerous? It's like, just, just, it's just, there's just so A different much, so many sort of people there. I was like, oh, criminals. You think, there, you think there's crime going to be happening? And how would you describe it? Because, well, they're just, they just look very suspicious. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it's so good. Well, Dick, I want to congratulate you and myself on one beautiful year of the biggest problem in the universe. I want to thank our special guest, Josh Denny, for showing up. Yeah, thank you, guys. And uh, what, what a year it's been. Thank you to yeah. everyone who supported us over at uh, Biggest Problem. Dot show. Oh, and let's also pop on the screen real quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our list of our biggest supporters, who I remembered to add to. Uh, and oh, Dick did was... I have those up the whole time? No, no, no. Okay. I don't think Hold so. On. No, I don't think so either. Uh, what was I going to say? What was the high? The We went through cuties together. And we was... went through your false flagging together. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> and we went to the Chappelle thing. Yeah, and the then, Chappelle thing. Uh, everybody hated me for something. Else. Everybody helps me for something at some point in time. But the point yeah. is the audience is stuck with us. So many of them. Should I, should I not read the names? Have we reached a... No. Uh, eh, whatever. The well, they're names. on there, and we know that we love you, and we appreciate our top supporters. And don't forget, bonus oh, Josh, episodes get are Get a load available. of this. Get a load of this. So Patreon. Vito's always bragging about how he's got more supporters on our thing, because mm -hmm. you can pick one of us. To I'm not always his... bragging. The one always week I bragged. It. So look at this shit. Hold on. Let me see if I can pop this up in a new window. Dick is currently going to patreon.com slash biggest problem to try and come up with some technical reason. Okay. Why. You see this? Veto file, five bucks. Dickhead, five bucks. Veto file plus ten bucks. Oh, where's the. Where's Dickhead where's plus? Dickhead plus. Oh, you have you to click, click a click button thing. and then scroll. It's not my down. fault. They only have three rows. I don't know why they hide. Why do they hide any of the tiers on Patreon? Convenient. Oh, whatever. Uh, didn't go by alphabetical order either. I think you caught up anyway. I think it's like an even split v now. Last I checked my alphabets. Anyway, if all the veto files in the audience could please uh, get it back so I have more of you than Dick's uh, supporters, that would be great. What'd you guys? Because it gives me a secret pride. What'd, what'd you guys talk about when you did Cuties? Do I got to go back and watch that? Yeah, we love it. That it's a great movie. Yeah, we love it. a great cast. We jerked off to it. And now everybody on the internet. The whole thing? Is yeah. still the whole thing? I still haven't even fucking seen it. I don't even want to see it. That's it looks boring. It, that's how hot Sounds it like was. a guy who watches it. <laughs> <laughs> I made a lot of jokes yeah. about watching it, but it's like two. Isn't it like, like two and a half hours weren't jokes. Mine like, weren't jokes. It's no. like the old Greg Giraldo bit when he was like, uh, when he's like, I brought up Brokeback Mountain to a guy. He's like, I haven't even heard of it. And he's like, you haven't even heard of it. How homophobic <laughs> do you have to be? You <laughs> won every Academy Award in the world. You really got to be I haven't even heard. Circles. You haven't even heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, has he seen Brad? Don't mention it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you to all our supporters again. Patreon.com slash biggest problem. And don't forget to vote after the show at biggest problem. Oh, yeah. Shit, I got to put those up. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks, Josh. Thank you.